glasses. So, um, last few months I went to the opticians uh, to get my eyes uh, tested. I, I, I noticed when they is slightly deteriorating. I knew long distance and also close up that there was needed a I needed a tweak. It, it'd been um, a couple of weeks, I think, a couple of weeks, a couple of years, maybe three since I got last the last time. And you know, it can be quite an expensive old business now, um, costing many hundreds of euro per pair. So um, yeah, it's not something I. Uh, I enjoy, yeah. but I do like good vision, and yeah, I suppose it's worth it, you know. Wow, where the fuck did he come from? Interesting, there. Uh, but um, yeah, that was a. I just been caught by a driver with a big N in the back, a big N in the back of the car. Um, I'm not sure if this is a common practice in other parts of the world, but N means a new driver. Well, this new driver could be dead soon if he carries on driving like that. I've got the window open, but I'm hopeful my new mic now is. Uh, yeah, it doesn't mean if it doesn't mean doesn't matter if the the, the window's open or not. Um, so where was I? Um, Opticians. Yeah, I was getting some glasses. So I haven't been in a few years. You meant to go every. I think every two years is okay if you've not got any uh, serious eye problems. Uh, I think my eyes have been pretty healthy over the years. Um, and, you know, I've, I've recently uh, was told to get varifocals um, and get them whilst my near vision wasn't too bad, then you get used to them apparently better than if you get them when it's here, when it's really bad. So, so anyway, I went to the opticians and uh, I'm not going to mention the name of the optician, but uh, it's a place they often say you should have gone to. Um, not because I'm going to cast it any, uh, any particular bad light, and as you're probably aware, um, I'm quite, um, yeah, they, they do mention uh, names of places normally, and uh, but on this occasion I'm not going to name the place, uh, but you'll, you'll know from that exactly what place I'm talking about. So I booked some appointments, went in um, to see the optician, um, and it was quite an interesting experience. So before you see the optician, they take a picture of the back of each eye, and they, uh, they were like a pressure test, they blow a little puffer, a little compressed air puff in your eye and uh, that's to determine how much pressure is inside the eye. I know for a few years they said I had quite high pressure, then they said, oh, you don't, you're fine. Uh, as I later found out, it's just they changed the, um, <laughs> the threshold as to what was high and what wasn't, so my eye pressure was pretty much the same as it's always been. But hey, I can still see, and that's always good. So I went to see the optician, and uh, one of the first things he does, I mean, there's a little bit of banter, a bit of uh, asking what you do, all the rest of it, and any problems with your eyes, da 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 da. Nothing really of note there. I am a heavy uh, computer user. I would use the computer an awful lot. And it's always nice to get away from the screen because of that. I use the mobile phone as well to a certain extent, and yeah, the eyes get a bit of a battery. Um, yeah. So anyway, he, um, he got pictures of the back of my eye, and you know, it's mildly interesting. You can see the veins and things like that. Yeah, always if the veins are lumpy, you can you might potentially have a problem or something. But I thought my backs of my eyes looked pretty good until he started to describe a few things. Um, and he pointed out some you could see these circles. Um, I'm not going to call them lumps, but circles on on the back of the eye. And he went on to tell me that um, this is caused by well, not a photon. He didn't use the word photon, but he, he would have done if he was in any way intelligent. Uh, when light hits the back of the eye, there's a chemical process goes on that ultimately leads you to be able to see something in that part of the eye. We won't talk about rods and cones and things like that. That's a bit too in-depth for a Friday evening. Um, and he said, what happens to this chemical reaction? Then there's a waste product um, from it. And over time, it can build up. And he said to me, Jason, you're going to go blind. And uh, so I took this in for a moment. Uh, I said, what? Really? He said, yes, but if you're lucky, you might die first. Hmm. I thought that was an interesting way to put it. So I have two options. I'm going to go blind, but if I'm lucky, I'm going to die. And he says, but don't worry, it's incurable. And I thought, wow, you've already got me worrying. Um, it's incurable. I'm going blind. I'm going to die. Um, and I said, well, is there anything I can do? He said, it is incurable, but um, you can eat more fish. <laughs> 